This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCB Way you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a vacuum tube Tesla coil staccato controller was developed in the attempt to create longer sparks from Tesla coils while at the same time reducing the input power. The staccato interrupter achieved this by operating the vacuum tube Tesla coil for, for a full AC, AC half cycle, then disabling, dis disabling the Tesla coil for a select uh, for a selectable number of AC half cycles. Basically, the controller consists of an oscillator with, an, with, adjust, with adjustable parameters and a three-acre resistor at the output of the oscillator, which is connected within, between the cathode of the vacuum tube and ground. In the device that I will present you in this video, an Arduino nano board is used to build the oscillator, so the device is very simple to build and yet has many control options. The presented code is very simple and understandable, so if we have some experience in programming, we can expand these possibilities. The original project was taken from Tesla Montaya's block, and I added a two transistor part and switch, so now MOSFET solid state Tesla coils can also be controlled. The device is composed of several parts. Arduino Nano Microcontroller Unit Board Free Control Potentiometers Mains Transformer with 12 volt output Grads with Filter uh, Capacitor and Voltage Stabilizer Triac through which Vacuum Tube Tesla Coil is controlled Two transistor board for uh, control the, of solid state Tesla coil, some diodes and resistors, button and switch. Now let's briefly explain the working principle. There is a full wave rectifier on the secondary of the main transformer. Uh, in the continuation of which there is a filter electrolytic capacitor and a voltage stabilizer for 12 volts. This voltage is used to power Arduino Nano board. Between the transformer and rectifier bridge, uh, a half wave rectifier current is taken via diode uh, to uh, via diode, diode to a voltage divider uh, consisting of two 1 kilo ohm resistors. After the voltage divider, there is a 100 nanofarad capacitor for filtering, followed by 4.7 volt Zener diode uh, to limit the voltage to Arduino's maximum 5 volts. The resulting high rec uh, half wave rectified and 4.7 volt limited voltage is fit into a Arduino analog pin A1. Using this signal, Arduino controls the triac or thyristor or two transistor part, uh, which is triggered from Arduino's output D12 through a, through a 220 ohms uh, resistor. Two Arduino analog input pins A2, A3 A, and A4 uh, are connected three potentiometers that regulate the interval, length and intensity of the generated signal. A button is connected to D2 pin with a pull-down resistor. By using the push, bu push button, a single trigger can be given, generated. If potentiometer uh, R R2 is adjusted to a point uh, where the device does not provide pulses, the push button can be used to give one pulse at a time. LED diode flashes in sync with the trigger pulses.
we can best capture the way the device works with the help of an oscilloscope. For this purpose we connect one channel of the oscilloscope to pin A1 which is the input and the other channel uh, to the output pin D12. The oscilloscope provides a clear visual demonstration of how all adjustments works. In the oscilloscope image, image you can see the half waves of the main current in yellow and the trigger pulses in the blue color. Internal potentiometer is used to adjust how often the triac is trigger triggered. Uh, when, when the potentiometer is turned towards one end, the triac is triggered on every half wave. Uh, near the other end is triggered every 50 half waves, which corresponds to once per second on a 50 Hz power grid. Let's remove first channel. The length potentiometer is used to adjust how many consecutive hull waves the trigger key is triggered. The values range from 1 to 25. The oscilloscope images provide a visual representation of this. and the intensity potentiometer is used to adjust the timing of the trigger. This allows for adjusting the intensity of the spark discharge. The most intense discharge occurs when the trigger is given right at the beginning on, of the half wave. On the back of the device there are two terminals to which appropriate type of the Tesla transformer should be connected, previously selected with this switch. Uh, the negative pole in both cases need to be connected to the ground and the positive pole on the vacuum tube Tesla coil is connected to the cathode of the vacuum tube while in the solid state Tesla coil to the gate of the MOSFET or to the input of the MOSFET driver. And finally a short conclusion. There are several circuit diagrams for making a staccato controller but this is probably the simplest way thanks to, uh, to the use of a microcontroller. Despite its simplicity the device is incredibly customizable and with the small changes to the code we can achieve a variety of effects. In some of the following videos you will see this device in operation both at a vacuum tube Tesla coils and solid state Tesla coils. The entire assembly is mounted in a suitable case made of PVC board with a thickness of 5mm and covered with a colored self-adhesive wallpaper.